Welcome back to episode two of Planet Peak, where we explore the planets in our solar system, diving into their histories and mysteries. Ever wondered about Venus, our neighbor planet? It's a total mystery box, from its scorching surface to its mind-boggling secrets. Did you know that scientists have detected a gas commonly released by living organisms on Venus? Or have you ever wondered why Venus is often called Earth's twin? Stick around until the end of the video for your answers. We're about to uncover it all. Let's begin with history. Venus, like the other planets in our solar system, formed around 4.5 billion years ago from a swirling cloud of gas and dust called the Solar Nebula. Over time, gravity caused particles to clump together, forming larger and larger objects. Eventually, these collisions led to the creation of protoplanets, and Venus emerged as one of these early bodies. As it gathered more mass, it differentiated into layers, forming its core, mantle, and crust. This process shaped Venus into the planet we know today. Venus is one of the five planets visible to the naked eye and has been observed for millennia. Ancient civilizations often associated it with different mythological deities due to its brightness and visibility. Venus is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty, making it the only planet in our solar system to be named after a female figure. In ancient times, Venus was often thought to be two different stars, the evening star and the morning star, that is, the ones that first appeared at sunset and sunrise. In Christian Latin, they were respectively known as Vesper and Lucifer. In Christian times, Lucifer, or Lightbringer, became known as the name of Satan before his fall. Like Mercury, there is no single person who is credited with the discovery of Venus. Since Venus is so bright and noticeable in the sky, it was probably seen by the first groups of humans. When the Italian physicist Galileo Galilei first observed the planet with a telescope in the early 17th century, he found it showed phases like the moon, varying from crescent to gibbous to full and vice versa. In the early 20th century, astronomer Vesto Slipher attempted to measure Venus's rotation using spectroscopic observations. He tried to detect the Doppler shift of light from Venus caused by its rotation, but he couldn't find any evidence of such a shift. This led him to conclude that Venus might have a much longer rotation period than previously thought, or that it might even be tidally locked. Later investigations in the 1950s provided more clarity. Scientists discovered that Venus rotates in a retrograde direction, opposite to the majority of planets in our solar system. This retrograde rotation further complicated earlier assumptions and indicated a longer and slower rotation than initially imagined. This discovery significantly altered our understanding of Venus's rotational dynamics. Now let's get into some of Venus's key details. Venus and Earth are often called twins because they are similar in size, mass, density, composition, and gravity. Venus is only a little bit smaller than our home planet, with a mass of about 80% of Earth's. Venus is not a gas planet, but a rocky planet. The interior of Venus is made of a metallic iron core that's roughly 2,400 miles. Venus's molten rocky mantle is roughly 1,200 miles. Venus's crust is mostly basalt and is estimated to be 6 to 12 miles. Why Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system is rather complicated. Although Venus is not the planet closest to the Sun, its dense atmosphere traps heat in a runaway version of the greenhouse effect that we see firsthand on Earth with global warming. As a result, temperatures on Venus reach 880 degrees Fahrenheit, which is more than hot enough to melt lead. Spacecraft have survived only a few hours after landing on the planet before being destroyed. With scorching temperatures, Venus also has a hellish atmosphere that consists mainly of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid and only trace amounts of water. The atmosphere of Venus is heavier than that of any other planet, leading to a surface pressure that's over 90 times that of Earth, similar to the pressure that exists 3,300 feet 1,000 meters deep in the ocean. Venus's surface is extremely dry. During the planet's evolution, ultraviolet rays from the sun evaporated water quickly keeping Venus in a prolonged molten state. There is no liquid water on its surface today because the scorching heat created by its ozone-filled atmosphere would cause water to immediately boil away. Venus is quite the enigma. It's got some truly unique stuff going on. For one, its surface features, like coronae, think big ring-like structures, and tesserae, raised areas with all sorts of ridges and valleys, 
are totally different from anything we've got here on Earth. Plus, Venus stands out as one of the very few planets in our solar system that doesn't have any moons. The only other one in that club is Mercury, and it's cozied up pretty close to the sun. What's really wild about Venus is its funky spin. Picture this. It takes 243 Earth days for Venus to complete a full rotation on its axis, making its day longer than its year. And get this, its slow rotation might be thanks to its thick atmosphere acting like a brake. Because of this laid-back spin, Venus misses out on having a magnetic field like Earth's. Its magnetic field is crazy weak, only about 0.00015 times as strong as ours. Plus, it spins the opposite way to most planets. So if you were on Venus, the sun would rise in the west and set in the east. Totally backward from what we're used to. Even its orbit is a bit of a head-scratcher. Venus takes about 225 Earth days to go around the sun, but its weird backward spin means that from one sunrise to the next it's only about 117 Earth days. Venus Exploration Various space agencies have launched missions to Venus to explore its atmosphere, surface, and overall environment. The first successful landing on Venus was achieved by Russia through the Venera series. This series comprised Soviet probes sent to Venus from the 1960s to the 1980s. The primary objective of these missions was to study the planet's atmosphere and surface. In 1970, Venera 7 made history as the first spacecraft to successfully land on Venus, paving the way for subsequent missions that gathered crucial data on the harsh conditions prevailing on the planet. Later, NASA launched the Pioneer Venus mission in the 1970s. It had two components, an orbiter and a multiprobe. The multiprobe released several probes into Venus's atmosphere, collecting data on temperature, pressure, and composition. The orbiter studied the planet's atmosphere extensively. In 1989, NASA launched a new mission called Magellan. Using radar, Magellan mapped Venus's surface, offering high-resolution images and topographic data that unveiled intricate details of the planet's geology, such as volcanoes, impact craters, and planes. Subsequently, Japan, JAXA, and the European Space Agency, ESA, launched missions focusing on Venus's atmosphere, weather dynamics, and surface characteristics. Besides these discoveries, a research paper in 2020 stated that possible signs of life were found on Venus scientists have detected phosphine on Venus. On Earth, this gas is created by microbes that live in oxygen-free environments. It means there is a chance that we've found signs of living organisms in the clouds of our neighboring planet. The research paper titled, Phosphine Gas in the Cloud Decks of Venus, was published in the journal Nature Astronomy in September 2020. The paper was authored by a team led by astronomers Jane S. Greaves and Anita M. S. Richards. The discovery was based on observations made using the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope, JCMT, in Hawaii, and the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA, in Chile. The team observed a spectral signature consistent with phosphine gas in the middle cloud decks of Venus, approximately 50-60 kilometers above the planet's surface. The detection of phosphine was surprising, because it's a molecule that is not expected to persist in Venus's atmosphere for a long time due to the harsh conditions there. Speculation about potential unknown chemical or geological processes that could produce phosphine or even the possibility of microbial life in the clouds of Venus. Well, you got your answers. And if you want to know about Mercury, click right here.